Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be raiding Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3. And we will be telling I will be telling you which in my opinion is the best Iron Man movie of them all. We'll be rating it by story, by villain, and finally by the action. Each movie will be rated by each of the categories and the one with the mo biggest rating will win the challenge. Let's start with Iron Man 1. This movie was action packed, had an, an, had an awesome story, so we might as well get started. It starts when Iron Man got captured by this one dude, I don't know his name. He was then forced to make a massive bomb to blow up his city, but instead he created Mark 1, and this was, this was honestly awesome. Mark 1 was so cool. He then escaped to create Mark 2, then it was honestly awesome. He painted it hot rod red, and then went to fight. This was probably one of the best parts in all of Marvel, seeing this suit get put together. He then went on to fight this guy who had reassembled Mark I and made it better. He ended up winning and it was honestly awesome. Overall, I'm gonna give it four stars for the story, three stars for the villain, and five stars for the action. And the total amount of stars is 12. Time for Iron Man 2. So this movie is kind of about Iron Man and him rebuilding the city, but he has one problem, and this is Whiplash. Whiplash is a really powerful supervillain who has figured out how to use Iron Man's power to power his two whips, and his goal is to kill Iron Man as he has killed his father. Iron Man creates armor that can go to himself and attach onto him. He made this armor because in the middle of the fight, his armor was far away from him, so he could not access it. He had to flee the facility during that fight, and he was not able to beat Whiplash. Whiplash is able to recreate Iron Man's armor because his dad has fought Iron Man previously and has already had to recreate his armor once. He then makes dozens of these bots and decides to trick Iron Man to think to make everybody think that he is bad. Here's this because this is very funny. <laughs> nice work, kid. Iron Man and War Machine then fight together to destroy the bots. I'm gonna give it a 3 for the story, 4 for the villain, and 5 for the action. This was an awesome movie, and in the end, it got stars. Well, stay tuned until the end, because that may change. Time for Iron Man 3! Iron Man's house is invaded because he has leaked his address in the beginning of the movie because he is super stressed and is having a bunch of anxiety attacks. He is then put in a fight with these lava monsters. These lava monsters are all able to melt through all of Iron Man's suits in seconds. Iron Man and War Machine then have to be snuck onto the lava monster ships and they have to fight off the lava monsters. But with the lava monster's strength, it would be almost impossible. Iron Man and all of his suits are then put on pi autopilot mode and have to fight against all of the lava monsters. It's insane watching this fight, and it was honestly crazy. Iron Man pulls some awesome stunts in this part, and it gets crazy. Iron Man then defeats the lava monster, and the movie is over. In the end, I'm gonna rate it the story for villain 5 and action 4 so the total rating is 13 and it wins or did it i'm going to call my friend and ask him what does he rate each movie then i'm going to add all those ratings together and we'll see what is actually the best movie hey, awesomeness i was wondering if i can get your rating out of five stars on each of the iron man movies um sure uh iron man one is a four Iron Man 2 is a three and a half, and Iron Man 3 is a three. Okay, thank you. Anytime. In the end, Iron Man 1's total was 16, Iron Man 2's total was 15.5, Iron Man 3's total was 16, and the winner is Iron Man 3. And the reason is, 3 is my personal favorite.